So I haven't ridden this bike for well over a year off-road, but the thing I do remember about the last time I rode it was the suspension felt quite vague at the front. You couldn't really feel what was going on with it. So today I'm going to work my way through the basic settings, kind of find out where the suspension is at, so that when I do get out on the trails I've got a good starting point and a point that I can revert to should the bike start to feel worse at any point. So before I start turning adjusters and counting clicks, I'm going to get the bike off the floor. This is going to allow the suspension to extend fully and then I'm going to bleed the air out of the forks because that can sometimes make the forks feel hard over a certain amount of time. Now right at the top of the suspension fork, you can see there, and the same on the other one as well, there's a T20 torque. So just get your torques in there, twist it, open it up. Don't know really how much air is in them, if anything at all, because it hasn't been ridden for such a long time. So that's pretty much that. And I'll do the same on the other side. So now that I know that all the air is out of the system, I can move on to the adjusters and counting clickers so that I know where that base setting is ready for when I'm out on the trails. So the adjusting of these forks is actually quite simple. It's broken down into three areas. So you can adjust the preload of both forks by using the T-grips at the top of each one. Both have got to be adjusted identically. On the top of the left fork, you've got the compression damping and on top of the right fork you've got the rebound damping. So we're going to start off by playing with the preload of the fork which is simply the initial compression of the spring inside the forks. The more preload you use the more you compress the spring and obviously the less you preload the less you compress the spring. So I've already mentioned and the adjustment on this particular bike is simple. You just raise the bike off the floor to start with and then you use the T-grips that are on both suspension forks to adjust the preload. Starting off you've got plus zero, a plus three and a plus six. I'll put a picture on the screen now. The plus six doesn't mean anything according to the manual. It's plus zero is comfort and standard and then plus three is sports. So for this example I'm just going to move everything from plus zero to plus three because it's been wound out all the way. Naturally if you've got no markings to find out where you're at just turn everything anti-clockwise or counterclockwise and that will put you back to the beginning and then you just move it across mechanically to the next click that is where your sport setting is plus zero I've already mentioned is comfort so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it as it is because I've added it in that since I've had the bike I just want to start playing with the compression and the rebound now that I'm done with the preload of the forks I'm going to move on to the compression damping of the forks which is adjusted using the white adjuster on top of the left hand suspension fork. Now because I don't know what the current settings are, I'm going to count the clicks while turning the adjuster all the way clockwise. That'll give me the information I need then for the future if I decide to go back to them. So the settings, if you're interested, are comfort is 18 clicks, standard is 15 clicks, and sport is 12 clicks. So I need to turn this clockwise. And if you're a bit confused as to what compression damping is, it's just how quick or how slow the suspension fork goes from open to closed. So that was 15 clicks, which is the standard setting, meaning I can go either way now to have a play with the bike to see what suits me best. But if I don't like either of them, I can just go back to 15, which is middle of the road, and then I can play with the rebound as well, which is what I'm going to do now. And that's adjusted using the red adjuster on the top of the right hand leg. Just think red for rebound. And then because I don't know what setting this in currently. I'm going to do the same as I did with the compression. I'm going to wind it in clockwise, counting the clicks, and then that will give me an understanding of where we're at and where I can go from there. And while I'm counting clicks, I might as well use this opportunity to explain that rebound damping is how quick or how slow the suspension fork returns back to normal, so it's open position after it's been compressed. So at 15 clicks, the rebound damping is set to standard, meaning I can now go to sport or comfort and have a bit of a play around to see how the feelings are on different terrains. Now I know that not one setting is going to rule them all, there's going to be different settings and that's why I've done this today so I can find out that base setting so that I know where I'm at and I can revert back to it if I find the bike is acting like a pig. Now hopefully by doing this video as well I've kind of shown you that suspension isn't a scary thing as long as you've got something to go back to like your base setting, I'll call that my base setting which is standard if you do something similar, then you're out and about and you want to start playing around with the clickers. If you cock it up, you can just go back to standard and you know that you're going to continue riding as you were before. So thanks very much for watching. I'm going to be moving to two videos a week soon. 
Hopefully I'll bring you another video on Thursday, but if not, there'll be another one on Sunday.